The following video is brought to you by Yellow Jacket. Visit yellowjacket.com to find out why Yellow Jacket is the industry standard in refrigerant hoses, tools, manifolds, and vacuum pumps, and many other tools. Hello guys, it's Sunday morning. I'm on call. We got us a no cool call here. Uh, one of the little property management duplex areas we take care of. Nobody's coming to the door, but uh, one of the managers of the company is on her way to come let me in. But the complaint was that it's blowing hot air so uh, they must have it off. Uh, I see that the contactor's not pulled in. Let me uh, hit the disconnect and push the contactor in manually and see what happens. No fan motor. Okay. Just because it's Sunday, I'm not going to get lucky enough for it to just be the capacitor, probably. Well, it seems to spin free. I can't really get a good spin on it with this stick, but... I don't think it's bound up. Maybe I will get lucky. See, I'm telling y'all, man, these little York units were good units. This thing still got the original fan motor on it. Let's see if I'm going to get lucky. It's a 35.5. Let's see if the compressor's good or if it's that hard start that's keeping us going. Uh, compressor's good. All right, guys, sorry about that. The customer walked up. So we're going to go from common to fan. Make sure I'm not on that rusty spot. Nothing. We might get lucky. We have our new American-made Mars capacitor. Common to Herm. Good. Common the fan. Good. Guys, in this portion of the video, I want to do this voiceover because here in a minute, you're going to see that I make a huge mistake. That's why I put that in the video title. As you can see, I'm wiring up the capacitor. Everything's going smooth. But here in a minute, you're going to notice something. And I'm going to tell you what the mistake is that I made. So right there, I was tightening up the spade to get a better connection. Now, right here, I'm taking the wire from the compressor and I'm going on there. And you can see that I grabbed my wire strippers to put it on. And the reason is because I felt a tingle like a shock. Now, watch right here. Okay. You see how I jumped? That's because I had just got the piss knocked out of me. I got shocked. I made a huge mistake, guys. I trusted the disconnect. And you can see right now I'm checking power. I didn't have 240, but you're going to see here I go from one leg to ground. Right there I have 110. Right there I have 110. I trusted the disconnect. And come to find out, and right here I'm getting up to open up the disconnect to see if one of the legs is wire nutted and not being cut off by the disconnect, which it wasn't. But I still should have never trusted the disconnect. I should have checked power before I started this, and I did not. I made a very huge mistake. So the reason I'm doing this voiceover is just to remind people, check your disconnect. Now, what I'm doing right here is, I'm checking it again, 
because I tried turning the disconnect off, on back on and off. I just checked power again. I still had 110 from le- from each leg to ground. Now, because I'm experienced and I've been doing this a long time, I chose to go ahead and continue wiring the capacitor hot with my wire strippers. They're insulated. You can see I'm keeping my fingers on the insulated part, and I am wiring the capacitor hot. But I'm being very careful not to touch anything I'm not supposed to be touching, and I'm keeping my hands and fingers on the insulated part of my wire strippers. Now, this is not something that I condone. I don't recommend it. It was lazy on my part. You should get up and go turn the power off in the breaker panel. But, like I said, I was comfortable enough to do it. But I made a huge mistake by not double-checking power. I trusted the disconnect. Guys, don't trust the disconnects. Even though there's a disconnect, you still need to go on ahead and check power from leg to leg and then from each leg to ground after the disconnect is killed. All right, I got her in there. Let's see if we're going to get lucky. Yep. Very good. 